What's going on, everybody? Today is Monday, uh, May 20th, and I uh, just got down to the shop. I think uh, maybe 6.30 or so right now, and uh, just got home. We uh, had some errands to run after work today. Y'all see Mike Hens' door hanging up. If y'all remember, we worked on his uh, Pierce chassis. It's the one that we updated um, a while back, a couple years ago. We didn't do any video on that, um, but this is the car that he's been running and uh, it had our logo on it, our 209 fabrication logo. Um, most people know us as Hound Dog Chassis, but uh, we actually had 209 fabrication before anything. So that's uh, kind of our home logo. And uh, we wanted the door, so Mike saved us the door off that car. He's in a new car now, and uh, he's actually in a uh, mod rocket um, by uh, Ruhlman. It come from uh, CFR, Kel Finley Racing, and uh, that's what they're in now. So that's the, that's the door off the pierce. We wanted to hang it up in the shop. So uh, Pops and I done some cleaning yesterday, Sunday. Uh, the Cold Water Popping Plus guys, Brandon, from Coldwater Popping Plus came and picked up their chassis yesterday morning and uh, he took it from here straight to Powder Coat. So it's at Powder Coat and uh, they plan to put that car together over the course of the rest of this year in the winter and they plan to run that car next year, I believe. So um, now we are going to get that frame that's outside and bring it in this shop because we got to get started on number five. So, um, Y'all remember Dustin and Keith uh, Whaley, and uh, they brought their fuel cell uh, last Friday and hung out with us. I mentioned that in the last video. They, uh, they're up next, so we're going to get their frame in here. Uh, Pops and I worked yesterday just cleaning up the shop, then we worked cleaning up the yard and the grass cutting. We still got a weed eat. Man, we've been busy. We haven't been able to do anything, so. And... If you've been following along with us on Facebook, y'all know the big news. Uh, it was one of the big announcements that we wanted to make, and uh, we made it on Facebook after being a little leery about it. And uh, we figured, you know, we do believe in the power of prayer, so we figured the more people that are praying for us, the, the better it's going to be. So uh, my wife and I are having a baby, and we're excited. Um uh, we were told that it would never happen. Uh, we were told, we've been told a lot it would never happen. And um, the doctors had pretty much ruled out the fact that we were gonna be able to have a baby at all. Uh, Holly is, since since we've been married, um, Holly's had a couple of miscarriages, uh, one of them being kind of bad. And uh, it's just a tough subject. <laughs> so uh, we, we we were a little skeptical, so we waited until our first ultrasound, which was last Tuesday, to, we waited till then before we told any of our families. Our parents knew, uh, Pops knew that we were pregnant. Um, he was actually the first to know uh, because uh, Pops and I were down here at the shop building the chassis and uh, Holly drove down here <laughs> and uh, she jumped out of her car and was in tears and of course, I thought something was wrong at the house or somebody, you know, something was wrong. And and uh, she showed me the pregnancy test. So we're very excited. Man, I'm excited. And uh, today we got the phone call while we were having supper just a little bit ago. We stopped and ate supper on the way home. Uh, we, we firmly believe in dating your spouse. You know, you never want to quit dating your wife or husband or whatever. But anyway, um, Holly and I decided to have a little dinner date this evening after running some errands and having some meetings. And uh, we got the phone call from the doctor. So we know what the gender is. We were going to do a gender reveal, but you know, everybody's kind of busy right now. There's a lot going on, school, graduations, uh, vacations. So we know what the gender is and I'm not gonna tell y'all, <laughs> but uh, I'll tell you in just a little bit because I wanna tell Pops on camera. Um, I know he'll be excited, so I'm excited, and um, God has blessed us a lot. Um, I 
Hmm. God has shown me his presence in the past year more times than I can tell you. And I definitely don't deserve it. I'm nowhere near the Christian I need to be. And uh, I don't know where, if you're watching this, I don't know where your faith lies, but uh, there's a higher power. There's a higher power. And uh, I'm very thankful for the things he's given me. Uh, all the people that's helped me, I know that's material things, but I'm very thankful for everyone. Um, everybody that's helped us. Everybody that continues to help us, continues to support us. So, uh, thank y'all. Thank y'all very much. But uh, I'm going to throw this thing up on time lapse. And I'm going to work on moving our car out of the way because right now it's in the middle of the shop where we rolled it outside yesterday to do some cleaning. So, I'll, I'll show y'all the car. I know y'all haven't seen it in a while. So, y'all hang out with us. We're going to build another factory stock. Well, there she sits, just like we left it. Uh, still got the quarter panel on it that we made, uh, three piece, because that was my boo-boo, cutting it short, if y'all remember. If you're new to the channel, uh, this is the first time that Pops and I have ever done sheet metal work. So we decided to do all the sheet metal work on our own car since we built the car. And uh, we're using a homemade sheet metal brake it works good for what we're doing. Uh, it's not perfect, but it's working pretty good. So uh, all the decking still in it. And um, well, all that back there is still in it. Of course, up here, we're still working on our little firewall project that we have yet to finish. And uh, we will. But um, the Whaley's fuel sale. And Pops and I were going over some springs yesterday, some radiator for our car, and uh, organizing a little bit over here, which, of course, this is our mock-up block from Summit Racing. So we'll have to get this thing put together and see what we can do with it. We'll start using it instead of using that block we've got back there that's got uh, rods and crank rods and a crank and all in it. So we set it back here out of the way. It's just a block. It don't have any bearings or rings or anything in it. That's what we were using for mock-up. But yeah, there she is. We rolled it out just to do some cleaning. We swept everything, uh, moved all of our big sheet metal that was back here over there against that wall. And uh, just trying to pick up things, make it look a little neater in here. So I'm gonna get this thing rolled over back out of the way. And then we're gonna go right out there and get that frame. And we're gonna bring it in here and get started. Y'all hang out.
All right, y'all, as y'all seen in the time lapse, He's over making a lot of racket, ain't he? One invite. <laughs> uh, Y'all seen in the time lapse, we got the car moved and we've got an idea. We're trying to get the shop organized to where we could build these cars and have enough room and uh, still get around our own car and get tubing out of the rack uh, until we get added on. Um, we don't know if the add on is going to be soon or later or whatever, but. We're trying to get all this organized. Uh, Pops walked down here with a box during the time lapse. I gotta give a shout out to Joe Simpson. Uh, he watches our On The Berm channel. And uh, Joe, we appreciate you, buddy. Joe sent us a nice Carter fuel pump. It was on our Amazon wish list. So we appreciate that, buddy. That's gonna help us a lot. And uh, I'm gonna stick it back in the box and put it on the shelf, and along with all the other parts that everybody has sent us. So right now, Pops and I are going to, uh, he's over digging chains out so we can go out there and pick that frame up easy. And uh, because we actually have the boom. <laughs> the boom is actually on the tractor because Pops used it today. So uh, we're gonna take a couple of chains and stretch them to four corners and pick up lightly. If, if y'all know a metric frame, they're flimsy in the middle. So we're gonna try to pick up as lightly as possible and get that frame moved in this shot. So y'all hang out. All right, y'all. Well, y'all ain't seen y'all ain't seen the card in a while. That's the card we used a lot to move our car out of the way back and forth when we were working on cars after we built our chassis. So it's been sitting outside. So Pops and I had the idea that if we turn this car in here sideways at an angle and that car at an angle, our car rolls. And what the way it sits right now, all we would have to do is roll it back just a little bit, and we can go right out the door with it. Once this chassis is built, we can always sit it down on that cart, turn it and go right out the door. So it's not a big deal. Uh, this allows us to get around the front good, around the back good. It still allows us to get to our steel rack pretty easy. So this way we can build a chassis, we can work on our own car. And um, that way we, it kind of works out better for us. This shop is only 24 by 30. I know in, in video it may look bigger than that. We've had people walk in here and be like, man, we thought this shot was bigger. Uh, it looks bigger on video. Well, it's 24 by 30. That's what's wrong with me. <laughs> I look bigger on video. You look bigger on video, huh? That's Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to use that excuse too. I must be massive. <laughs> but um, in the time lapse, at the end of the time lapse, you see me throw a level on this thing. I was checking front to back and side to side. It's sitting perfectly level. So there ain't really much else to do for us except for to start building another factory stock. So y'all hang out. Pops and I may do some cleaning up and uh, we may bend some, a piece of cubing or two tonight. And uh, yeah, we'll have to get a little bit of paint off, but I'm not complaining one bit because we don't, we don't have to trim anything on this thing. We can just start building. And of course we will cut, you know, the rear clip off and tube the rear clip like we do all of them. So, yep, we are starting Hound Dog chassis number five right here. And man, we are blessed and it is fun. And uh, we're gonna start keep building these things. Even after the, <laughs> even after the excitement of the baby, now that everybody knows, um, my wife told me not to quit building cars. <laughs> so we're gonna keep building them. Uh, Obviously, when time gets here and we get ready to have the baby, then of course we'll be slowing down during that time so I can spend time with her and the baby and we can get everything situated. I've got it figured out. All right. I know what we do. After the baby gets here, say January, February, March, April, we'll 
Holly can come help you, and I'll take care of the baby. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll tell her that. that. I'll tell her that. So I'm gonna get while we're talking about baby. Are you uh? What do you think it is? What do I think it is? I don't know yet because probably ain't showing enough yet to see. Well, blood work came back today. Oh. I'm gonna lay my guess. A little boy. Little boy. Well, it's a little girl. Oh. <laughs> yep. There you go. We're having a little girl. So we're very blessed. Very blessed and very thankful. Sure No, there's not two. There's only one. You know, our family, the way our, our family goes. Chris is that that generation that twins yep. are very probable. <laughs> uh, my two uncles, dad's pops, dad, um, his two younger brothers are twins. So it actually skipped their generation, and it was my generation to have twins, which. Holly would have freaked out if we just had a twins, but uh, but we're not. We got one healthy girl right now, so we're very thankful for that. So Pops and I are gonna set up time lapse again, y'all. I know I've been talking a lot in this video, but man, we're excited. We're gonna keep building race cars, and we're gonna have a baby. So things are looking good. Can't thank y'all enough. Y'all hang out. I'm gonna throw this back up on time lapse. We're going to see if we can't get a bar or two in this thing tonight. See y'all hang out. I don't know how well y'all could see that on time lapses then. There's another one. He probably escaped before uh, he got sprayed. Uh -oh. <laughs> right here in this frame rail where I was grinding, I noticed one little stripe of walls come out. I thought, I didn't think nothing about it. I thought, well, you know, he might have just been up in there. Now, nah, there's a, there was a nest right up in there. And I guess me getting that warm right there kind of pissed him off. So they some striped walls started coming on out. I had to grab that carburetor cleaner and spray it in there real quick. Don't like them walls be... What we're doing, y'all, Pops and I have decided that we're just cleaning up everything where we know bars we're gonna tie to. And uh, concentrate on that tonight. Get everything cleaned up, and that way once everything is clean, we can start slinging tubing tomorrow. And, uh, there's a lot of paint on this chassis or frame, and uh, I think they've done it just to kind of keep it from rusting. It is, but however, some of it is primer and paint. You can tell when you go through the paint, you get pretty, you get the primer. So it's painted good. It's just painted at the wrong time for us. <laughs> so that's what we're doing. We're just uh, we're just grinding and cleaning right now. So. I don't want to leave it on time lapse all night. So I'll probably leave it on real time for just a little bit. Again, we're trying to do these videos 15, 20 minute, maybe 25 minute long. Uh, try to get them out more often. So we're gonna keep grinding for a minute. Y'all hang out on real time. And we're gonna grind and clean up a little bit before we decide to call it a night.
Pops him broke him out of rock. I don't even know where he found him. Rock worked pretty good, though. Yep. Don't you can hog that factory well with that. It comes off. <laughs> yeah, we've had people ask us why we don't weld the seams up, the factory seams. We just put so many bars in them. And, I mean, there's really no sense. We could spend hours and hours and hours cleaning the frame, and but we're building factory stocks, and we build them for such a, I, I, we think, a good price that we don't have a lot of time in the, you know, the labor hours cleaning the frame and stuff. So we could spend more time, but it means they would be more expensive. So that's why we don't do it. All right, y'all. The pops was doing some grinding up here. There's some old weld and stuff on here. That's pretty bad right there. So pops is working on that. And uh, y'all can see where we've been grinding everything, getting her cleaned up. But I think what we're gonna do is call it a night. It's about 8.30. And uh, uh, we're gonna, I mean, I've been burning up all day, so it's muggy and hot and I know it's that time of year, but I'm about done for the day. Um, tomorrow night, we're gonna come in here and we're gonna do some more video on Tuesday. Pops and I are gonna sling some tubing at this bad boy and see how far we can get on the first night. And I think we can get pretty far. Uh, we're getting it. We can go there, 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 and over there. I agree, I agree. <laughs> uh, can't thank y'all enough for watching our videos. We had a bunch of more, we had a bunch more subscribers. I can't even talk. And uh, we had some people unsubscribe from the channel and that's fine too. We get, it's not for everybody, but uh, we appreciate those that are sticking with us and following along. Hopefully, guys, this thing makes it to the racetrack. So uh, we hope soon. We hope soon. It is going to make it to a racetrack, we promise. We hope it's soon. And uh, we're going to keep knocking this one out. And we're going to keep on strolling with these hound dog chassis. Can't thank y'all enough for supporting us. Can't thank y'all enough for everything. Mr. Joe Simpson, thank you for the fuel pump. Can't thank you enough, sir. Can't thank everybody enough that has sent us stuff for this race car. And uh, thank you all for the support again. We got hat, more hats coming. We I had hats made for Hound Dog Chassis. We've been giving them to the guys that buy these cars and that we build for. But we, are got, we have another batch coming that we are going to sell. And uh, we have some more on the berm hats coming as well. Also, we are working. Thank you to Dustin Newton. He will be getting Hound Dog Chassis number eight. Y'all remember me talking about that, but he also surprised us with that banner and some stickers. And we appreciate him designing that logo. We have some t-shirts that are gonna be made with that logo. So we'll also have those, but we're excited. Y'all say a prayer that we have a healthy pregnancy and a healthy baby in six more months. And uh, we can't thank y'all enough, man, we're excited. I know Pops is excited. Yeah. And uh, I get to raise a little girl racing. <laughs> My wife watches this, I'll be dead. But uh, can't thank y'all enough. We're going to call it a night. Until next time. Appreciate it, gals. Guys, thank y'all very much. Keep up the comments and keep watching. Until next time, God bless you. See y'all.